Today uh, I'm showcasing one of my uh, um, my most favorite uh, character puppet cutout for my Power Rangers Lost Galaxy uh, fan film for 2014. Um, the, my first uh, paper puppet I wanted to show off was, well, or is, is um, Trakina, who is my favorite female villain from Power Rangers, and she did originate from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, one of my favorite um Power Ranger shows in which uh who in which Power Ranger show I'm doing a movie on coming in 2014. Today I am showing uh Trakina who is um who is the first character I'm going to show off with the reboot. Um before I uh start giving out details of what what I wanted to do for the reboot of the character, I'm going to turn around and go back to what I did. I have some resources and um what I did before I came up with so many different puppets because you know I think some of you have not seen photos of photos of um, my puppet creation of the character on the internet. Um, I'm everywhere on the internet um, posting uh, fan fiction work about the characters and everything and um, what I have here to start off is some concept art that inspired me before I started crafting the final product of the uh, puppet. Um, let's see, this was one of my, uh, this was, this was one of the, uh, no, actually this was my first drawing of what the character would look like for the reboot with uh, cleavage. That's my signature. Um, this one looks pretty good. Um, this one... You know, I think the cleavage in this drawing is a bit too big, but that's okay. This one is a beauty right here. This was way before I did the final, uh, the final puppet model. Um, it's just whatever I, whatever I draw is what I'm going to do when I start crafting these puppets and stuff out. And, um, because, you know, my dad has been getting on my ass about why am I into this, uh, bitch still. And, um... Because he, he says that she's nothing but black magic. I don't believe that. Um, this is my fourth and final drawing of what she would look like. I can't keep drawing this character much often. Because, you know, you know, in my book, Trakina is a very unpopular uh, female villain in Power Rangers. And uh, my dad says she's not all that. Because uh, he there's something about, the, there's something about her that's... Um, unappealing to some people. Well, when I was... I think for all of you who have heard of me making Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, The Rise of Trakina, or LG, that is, you guys, uh... I know you guys have not have not have heard my uh, last movie. Um, the one that I was working on before. Because, um... We, you guys know that the movie doesn't exist. I've been trying to make it t to exist, but it never happened. Because uh, everybody turned me down because it was uh, fake shit. But I wanted to make my f my fake movie into a reality. And not just be considered fake completely around us. I wanted it to look real. And also another piece of source information for all of those um, women who have never heard of the character... But yet, you can know all the other female villains in other uh, franchises other than Power Rangers. Like, like let's say, uh, female villains from Batman, like Catwoman and Harley Quinn, which which female villains you guys like. Um, and also, some of the female female villain baddies in, Mar in the Marvel Universe, like Mystique and X-Men, and Black Cat and Spider-Man and such. But, um, this is Power Rangers that I'm doing for female villains. Um... Because, you know, I've always been fascinated with uh, Trakina for uh, 13 years since Amy Miller played it in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, which is one of my favorite Power Rangers. And um, I have some photos for any of the women out there that, ha that don't know the character. And I'm still looking for some um, actresses. I'm st I mean, I'm still looking for some women. Um... Because, you know, I'm doing a fan film with regular people that would like to get into acting. And that's fan art. Let me pull that out. Um, 
I have some photos to, um, to inspire you. And I know these pictures are printed out in black and white because when I was in school, when I made the last movie, the last Power Rangers movie, um, which never really was released, um, this is who the character is, but I know a lot of you don't know, I, I know a lot of you women out there don't know her because um, you guys never really watched Power Rangers because, you know, Power Rangers is more of a boy's thing. And then when you have a female villain that's a hot chick who's very evil, they just say, oh, she's hot and all of that. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm very nervous to say because, you know, Trakina is my favorite female villain too. And uh, why, do you think I was, why do you think I did the, the last uh, fan film right here, but... Power Rangers uh, Lost Galaxy of the Rise of Trakina was, was going to was gonna happen this year or last year. I did shoot actual footage of the movie, but it was mostly the same was the same production medium using paper paper dolls, but uh, um, a lot of people turned my footage of the movie down because uh, it was unrealistic me using paper than using action figures or people in costume, but I can't make the Lost Galaxy Power Ranger costumes real. Because I don't even know how to make a Power Ranger costume. Because, well, you right now I'm still seeking for some women out out here, out there on YouTube that would like to do some auditions. Um, some women that do, uh, some girls out there that do uh, fan films. But I'm looking for a hot chick. Um, on YouTube. Uh, that does fan films. Uh, I don't know what, whatever whatever fan film you're doing either. If you're doing a, a Resident Evil fan film with a hot chick, or a, a, I don't know some sort of a video game fan film with a hot chick with cleavage exposed or anything. Um, well, it's way beyond me. So, um, cause you know I'm very desperate. I I I, I can't think of anybody who could. When I when I started uh, doing Trakinas as puppet, I couldn't find a good um, celebrity who could fit the part, because you know all I can think because you know you know I think you know I think the way how Amy uh, Miller looks, or Amy Roll that is, it's just you know the way how we saw her back at Power Morphicon 2010. I saw I saw the Lost Galaxy panels, and when I seen her, when I seen Trakina at the well actually I didn't I didn't meet her I was here I was still here in Maryland I couldn't I can't go nowhere. But when I saw Amy at the pa when I saw videos of her at the panel, she kind of looked like Angelina Jolie. She didn't look anything like the way how I doodled her, you know, drawing a, a black magic uh, pen or something to make her look like her original incarnation. But at the panel, she looks like, very exotic and look all ghetto. The way how she cur cur curved her hair all over and stuff. So, um, man, I wish I met her for real, but I can't. So I'll never get to meet any of my. Uh, Idols from Power Rangers, you know, ones that I've uh, been fascinated with. Okay, right now for the reboot um, of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, which I'm doing because I did set up this PR Lost Galaxy 2014 channel early before 2014. Because I know I'm probably not going to get this movie done on time. And I'm not going to tell you how long the movie's going to take. I'll tell you once when I uh, start production on it and once when I start getting some toys as collectibles on Amazon or eBay sooner or later. Okay, now let's start showing off Trakina. Um, the reboot version. Uh, let's take a closer look. You got her staff on the left and her headdress on the right. And in the middle is obviously the figure. Um, the facial likeness that I used for Trakina, well, before the, beforehand, I originally was going for, um, I was originally going for, uh, Wendy Malick, who is one of my, who used to be one of my favorite actresses on a TV, uh, show I used to like that showed reruns, and she's currently, she was, she's currently on the TV land sitcom Hot in Cleveland. Um, beforehand, she used to be uh, on uh, Just Shoot Me, which was one of those uh, sitcoms that I was watching reruns of on TBS uh, during my ninth grade year. Um, well, actually, Wendy is way too old for the role. So I was like, nah, nah I'd rather not get her. Then I tried to see if uh, Kate Walsh of uh, Private Practice, that, that show on ABC, um, 
which I find very boring because you know that spinoff of that Grey's Anatomy spinoff of hers, in my opinion, is very boring. But to you guys, you guys just really like her just because she's hot. I don't think she's hot because you know I've seen some photos of her on the internet. She doesn't really look all that pretty. She looks like a lesbian, a very stone cold lesbian. But I remember seeing her. Well, I well I kind I was pretty enticed to see her. Um, at the Charlie Sheen roast on Comedy Central. Um, she looked at hot as a fox at the roast for Charlie Sheen last year. But when you see her on everything else, she looks like a freaking dyke without makeup. Okay, okay, after Kate, um, I, I, after I tried, I tried her out, I was trying to see, um, someone else after her, after I got rid of Walsh. I tried some other actresses after her. Uh, to, to see if they would fit Trakina for the reboot. Um, after Walsh, I was going for... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, because uh, I have a whole bunch of pictures of her all over my phone. I tried to see if um, Patricia Heaton, uh, for those who... Because, you know, everybody knows who she was. She used to be on Everybody Loves Raymond, who is now on the ABC uh, comedy The Middle. I tried to see if Patricia would fit Trakina, but now she's too old, too. Like Wendy Malick. But Patricia, I was like, you know, after seeing so many pictures of her, including the shots of, including photos of her um, doing uh, these un, uh, these um, private uh, photo shoots, because, you know, what, this, I don't care if she's 50 something, but Patricia is still a model too. Um, you know, Patricia can be very mean in real life, but to some people she's nice. But despite the fact that she's a Republican, um, an actress who's, who su supports the Republican Party, since she is a Republican, and I'm a Democrat. Well, I'm a Democrat. I don't support Republicans. I don't know why. I was like, why the fuck am I? Why the fuck am I so obsessed with an actress who supports the Repu supports the Republican Party? I mean, she's rich, and I'm like, what? Poor, mid class, poor or mid class. It doesn't really matter. But I thought she would fit. Trakina's look for the reboot, but I was like, no, 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 no. She's too short. She's only five, five, five feet, five foot two. So I'm like, nope, you're fired. 